sir. How many times you did this tour? How many times? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, let's say more than 20. More than 20. But in Dutch speaking. <laughs> Think about the best Mali beers. It's the best of the world. Eh? Really? The triple, the, the uh, high fermentation one, uh -huh. uh, with the highest percentage of alcohol, okay. uh, is, uh, has been a few times the best beer in the world. Salve galera, a gente está aqui na, fazendo uma visita no mosteiro de Vastmali. É, eu vim para a Bélgica para o Brussels Beer Challenge. Nós estamos com o Gui aqui, que está fazendo a visita em inglês. Depois eu coloco a legenda aí para vocês acompanharem. É, minha primeira visita no, no mosteiro trapista. O dia não está tão bonito, está chovendo, mas vamos lá. E depois da visita a gente vai provar algumas cervejas aqui no bar, aqui na frente. Valeu! where the uh, wall ends and when the building goes up that was over there and then on the bridge on the other side there that was uh, the very last point of the abbey and the start of the brewery the brewery starts over there they uh, made an effort uh, to uh, realize uh, the strict observation i don't know if you know anything about cisterciensers, but that means that they only ora et labore to pray and to work. So there was nothing over here, only the wilderness and the trappists, they came and they changed it into the labor land that we see all over now. Uh, that's the main entrance that we may not enter. But if you should say, I want to see a little bit from the Abbey and you are in the neighborhood, then you can always visit a mass. Because every day there is a mass at 10 o'clock and because of course uh, uh, the Sunday too, there is a mass at 10 o'clock. So you come over here at 9.30 and you enter, then you go into the cloister and you can together with the uh, fathers brothers here in the abbey you can have a mass i say all in gregorian you understand that yeah, yeah, they still course. use the gregorian exactly what's going on here, but... you have simple food they do not eat meat except for the holy services but otherwise there is no meat in uh, the, the dinner of the traffic so you can live more than 100 years old that's no problem because everything is arranged for you <laughs> there is something special too with the traffic uh, uh, beer you say beer <laughs> they have three bulls here that always stay with the cows and they have to do their work with the cows. Eh? <laughs> there are no problem. The meat that's produced by the cows and the calves is sold. Okay. And how about the cheese? The cheese? Mm -hmm. They make cheese, eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They, they make here two things. That's the beer of cows and they make cheese too. Eh? And uh, only a few weeks ago, they started with selling this cheese in the whole country. Mm -hmm. Before, it, you could only buy the cheese at the entrance of the abbey, but now you can buy it possibly all over Belgium. Okay. <laughs> but I'm sure that after this walking, you will uh, have to uh, eat from that very good cheese. I'm sure, I'm sure. Of course you will have to drink Trappist too, eh? <laughs> I can tell you already there are three Trappists, you know. There is the pale one, the triple. There is the double, eh? the, the dark one. And there is one, and it's called Extra. And that's the Trappist that they make for their own. And uh, it has only between two and a half and four and a half degrees of uh, alcohol. And they make it for themselves to drink 
with the food. As they came from France, because they came originally from La Trappe in France, uh, they started with winery. They tried <laughs> to uh, get some uh, wine here, but that wasn't a big success, and uh, they then changed it into uh, beer production. Thanks a lot. All the benefits that they make with the beer production, that is limited to 180,000 hectoliters, all the benefits are for use in the Abbey and for good works. They uh, will never make profit. All the money that they gain, they will use in their own business and uh, for good works. Nothing else. Yeah, would you mind? Thanks, <laughs> so, sir, the bottles are conditioning under this grass? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There are big cellars mm -hmm. where you even need a, a, a motorized car, electric motorized car, mm -hmm. uh, to get something out. Okay. So it's a. Uh, Let's say about uh, three or four kilometers. It's all over the place like you see it here. The, the whole long way. Mm -hmm. Lorenzo, have you ever been inside? Uh, yes, to twice. Yeah. Uh, with a few you people. The uh, it's not the most impressive. Uh, very, very the, the kettle are uh, in uh, steel. Mm -hmm. uh, Rochefort, on the contrary, the kettle uh, looks like uh, yeah. copper. Okay. Still inside the copper outside. So it's more beautiful. Uh, you see all, all the Brazilian um, group fun. Uh, 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 tell me, he told me uh, Doug that uh, were impressive by the picture we take there, <laughs> uh, especially where, where we drank uh, side by side with the the, 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 the the boss of the monk, the prior of the monk. Great. Salve galera, a gente na verdade fez a volta aqui no mosteiro, visitou pela área externa, porque não pode entrar. Mas tem aqui com a gente o Quasca, que é um italiano bem, um cervejeiro bem fluente aqui na, na Bélgica. E eu até perguntei para ele, já entrou lá? Ele falou, já, já entrei duas vezes. E talvez se a gente tivesse vindo só com ele, a gente conseguiria entrar. Mas a área é imensa, bem bacana, e aqui eles fazem três cervejas, o Vestemali. É, triple, a Double e a Extra, que não vende fora do mosteiro. Depois tu vai aqui na frente, num café, tentar provar e ver se tem essa cerveja. É, espero que tenham gostado das explicações e vamos em frente. Amanhã eu continuo o julgamento aqui no, o, na competição do Brussels Beer Challenge e hoje eu julguei cervejas do estilo Bohemian Pilsner e também Dark Lager. É, qualidade de cervejas também interessantes. Eu acho que teve mil entradas, mil rótulos. Eu acho que poderia ter mais rótulos brasileiros. Acho que falta um pouco de divulgação é, desse concurso no Brasil. Mas é um concurso muito importante pela qualidade também de quem está participando. A gente está aí com 78 juízes. Entre eles, tem vários caras que eu tenho o livro desses caras. Como Tim Webb, como Roger Protz, é, Melissa Cole, é, é, Stephen Beaumont, Beaumont, do Canadá. Então tem muito cara aqui bem influente no meio cervejeiro e que faz, é, participa como jurado nesse concurso e eu, uma grande honra para mim estar tá aqui também perguntas sobre o concurso Brussels Beer Challenge é, perguntas sobre a Badia sobre essa viagem que eu fiz aí de forma bem rápida para por Bruxelas por Antuérpia pode mandar vamos em frente até a próxima Grazie, buona pace, grazie a tutti, grazie.